How can I get a Wikipedia page? I will explain and then I'll give you an example at the end. The quick answer is simple. Become Wikipedia notable. Explaining that isn't as simple. Here are the guidelines if you want to read this mass of text. The link is in the description of this video. First off, Wikipedia is an online encyclopedia, not your personal website. Nothing is yours. You cannot control the content that appears there. There are some exceptions. See my video of what to do if something is wrong on my Wikipedia page. Creating a biography, biography for a living person, BLP, Biography of Living Person, BLP, is very difficult. Not the writing part of it, but getting it to continue to exist on Wikipedia. The standards are quite high. Otherwise, everyone would have one and Wikipedia would quickly turn into the equivalent of social media and become unmanageable. Are there Wikipedia articles for people that don't fit the guidelines? Yes. Up until about 2012, tools did not exist to easily vet newly created articles. Before 2008, Wikipedia was the wild, wild west. As these older articles are discovered, they're improved up to standards or they're deleted. Nowadays, there's much more strict guidelines the, that it's hard to get past. So it's very difficult now. Standards vary, but in general, the person you think should have a Wikipedia article must stand out from their peers. It's not a popularity contest. We need probably about three citations, more or less, that are independent of the person that are themselves notable. In other words, meaning they have journalistic integrity. And look for my video on reliable sources. Not interviews with the person, but talking about the person, mostly. For example, how can an actor, a musician, an artist stand out from their peers? Well, possibly, maybe they have influenced others in their field. And that could be written by a critic or a supporter. But it needs to be independent. And the critic or supporter should probably themselves be notable or publish in a reliable source. Yeah, I know this is circular and confusing. I'll show you a few examples in a minute. The person should not be notable for only one event, such as saving a life or committing a crime. The person can be all over the news, but if it is for only one event, then probably they can't have a Wikipedia page. The citations used can't just be a passing reference to the person. They can't be an ad that was placed in the paper. I have had many people ask me if I'd write their Wikipedia article. It is possible that they might be Wikipedia notable, and I don't have a problem with that. In fact, I've done it many times, so, so have many people on our team. And there's nothing wrong with that as long as you follow the rules, avoid conflict of interest. It probably shouldn't be someone you know well, but if you state there's a conflict of interest on the talk page and you have a strong edit history, see my video on having a strong edit history, that I'm, I'm not going to care. Possibly other editors would not agree with me. It should be so well written, neutral and unbiased that, and if you state your conflict of interest, then people shouldn't be able to tell. Oftentimes it's something like you watch somebody on TV or you attend a lecture or you meet somebody interesting or you stumble across an article somewhere and you think to yourself, wow, let me check out their Wikipedia page. You go look and there is no Wikipedia page. That's generally how it works. Not that you have personal connections to them. We aren't likely to allow you to help with the creation if you are the person who we've selected to make a Wikipedia page for. And you're not going to have final say over the results. So be careful what you wish for. Let's just say that GSOW editors, mine, are pretty tough about this. <clears throat> We have a reputation. We have to make sure that we aren't trying to throw together something that isn't going to last. Besides, it can take 10, 20 hours or more to write a Wikipedia page. So there's a lot of time invested in creating a Wikipedia page. So we want to make sure that we are creating Wikipedia pages for people 
who are going to pass notability standards and not have the page deleted. But alas, most people who ask me if they're Wikipedia notable um, <laughs> and they're not, um, and they probably never will be. And that doesn't mean they're not wonderful, talented people. It's just that they don't meet the specific tough standards required. There are a lot of talented musicians, artists, authors, doctors, magicians, but they have to stand up from their peers in a way that the media has given them enough attention in order to create the citations we need to write the article. Usually when people ask, I tell them, you know, you got to get back to me with at least three reputable secondary sources independent of the person who we're hoping to write a Wikipedia page for. And that's usually the last time I hear from them. <laughs> the rare few will send me links to maybe when they were interviewed, and that's not enough, or to articles, books, music, films they have written or performed or filmed, and that's not going to be enough either. It might possibly mean that the book, the film, the music might warrant a Wikipedia article, but not the person. They show me how many followers or subscribers they have. That's not going to work either. Mentions in local newspapers. Nope. It takes much more than a mention to have um, enough to be able to write a Wikipedia page. You have to stand out. What have you done differently than your peers? You can have a PhD and you can have a JD and an MD, and that's pretty awesome, but it's not going to get you a Wikipedia article. You might have discovered a new variety of tulip and the world is beating a path to your door. That will probably get the Wikipedia page created for the tulip, not for you. Yeah, you'll get a mention on the page, but it's not going to be about you. Influencers probably aren't going to cut it no matter how many views their videos get on TikTok. You need some notable outside journalist that writes for some notable place to talk about whatever topic that you are known for. Maybe they do interview you, but mostly they're talking about you and talking to peers and your critics about you and how you stand out. There are exceptions, and that's why I'm being kind of vague. Standards for certain groups of people, like sports figures and politicians, may be different from a writer or a scientist. And the simple way to explain that, if you follow this, is that maybe somebody's at bat during the World Series and they don't get a hit and they're struck out and they're only at bat once, they may get a Wikipedia page. Why? because they stood out from their peers to be able to be on a team that made it to the World Series and they were allowed to bat. And that's probably an over-the-top example, but uh, I'm trying to find a way of explaining it easily. And it isn't easy to explain. It, it kind of depends. So look at some more examples. Now, I'm recording this on April 12th, 2024. And of course, by the time you watch this, the examples I'm showing may be outdated. But we're going to look at a couple biography, a living person examples. This is one of my rules I tell my people all the time. If a person is active in the current era, since the internet, then here's how to decide if they're Wikipedia notable in just a couple minutes. Taking any longer than a few minutes is wasting everybody's time. Do a Google search for their name. Use quotes around their name so you get a good, solid search. So it's just them specifically. And now we're going to use a person who was suggested to me that maybe they should have a Wikipedia article because uh, they've written a lot of books and they their uh, YouTube videos are very, very popular. Until um, this person mentioned it to me, I'd never heard of this person. Okay, so let's start with this person. His name is Brian Forrester. It's a nice and usual name, so we can find the specific person that they're looking for. B-R-I-E-N-F-O-E-R-S-T-E-R. -E -E and it says he's a content creator uh, on the History Channel, I believe. And I just did a Google search, put the quotes around the name. And we should know in a few moments if this person is going to have enough citations 
to prove that they're Wikipedia notable. I mean, am I going to spend the next 10 hours writing a Wikipedia page for this person? You don't start until you have at least three. So number one hit is uh, YouTube. Um, something called Hidden Inca Tours. That's not notable. YouTube is not notable. Uh, Amazon, well, he's written some books. That is not going to give us uh, enough to give us the um, what we need. He has uh, 204,000 followers on, on Facebook. That's not enough. I mean, look at the YouTube. He's almost got 400,000 followers on YouTube. That's, that's not enough. Here is academia.edu. So apparently he has a degree at the University of Victoria from academia.edu. That's nice. That's not enough. Um, nothing over here is going to give us anything. I mean, IMDb is not. IMDb is something that is edited by people. So it is not considered something you can cite, just like Wikipedia. You cannot cite Wikipedia. And here we have, again, this is the bottom of that. Okay, here's some of his videos he's done, and they may have had a ton of views. Um, doesn't matter. Here's more books sold by him. That's That's not going to help. Here's his Instagram page, his IMDb page, his X page. Um, nope. Here's more books, uh, a review of one of his books. Now, reviews of books, if they're in notable places and there's enough of them, they can create, we can create a Wikipedia page for the book, but a hot cup of joe.net is not a reliable source. Amazon is not a reliable source. Coast to Coast AM is definitely not a reliable source. Abe Books, nope. LinkedIn, nope. Okay, here is archaeological review for one of his books. I don't know about archaeology review. It might be notable, but again, it's going to give us a citation for creating a Wikipedia page for the book, not for the person. Um, here's another one from a hot cup of joe.net. Uh, another one, um, archaeology review. Okay, so we've gone through what, five pages? No, this man cannot have a Wikipedia page based on the search we were able to do. And quickly you'd be able to move away and say, no, it's not going to happen. Sorry, Brian Forster, it ain't going to happen. There's just not enough. And if you were to spend more time, you're just wasting your time because anything should come up quickly on the first page. The things you're looking for should be within the first couple screenshots that you make. So not in this man's case. Okay, so now we're going to look at a different person. Okay, I was watching YouTube and I saw a CNN interview with this person called Dakota Adams. And I listened to the interview and I thought, wow, this is a person who's standing out from his peers. Let's see what his Wikipedia page looks like. I went there and there was no Wikipedia page. Now, anybody who's being interviewed on CNN, well, that's somebody who stands out from their peers because not everybody can be have an extensive interview on CNN. So generally, that's kind of a way of saying, yeah, um, this is a good start. Yes, I know I said they're not supposed to be interviewed, but in some cases, it's okay. It depends on how many you have. As I said, this is complicated. So I did a Google search for Dakota Adams. Note that I put the quote marks around him and why he is notable and why he stands out from his peers is that he was the oldest son or he is the oldest son of Stuart Rhodes, who was the founder of the Oath Keepers. So he had written an article for Raw Story a couple years ago, not Stuart Rhodes, but Dakota Adams. And in that um, story, he talks about what it was like to be growing up as the son of the founder of the Oath Keepers in the militia and just the life he had lived. And that already sets him apart. Then adding that he's running as a Democrat for the Montana State House in a very Republican area, uh, Lincoln County, 
Uh, I don't think they even had a Democrat run. <laughs> the last Republican ran unopposed. So at a quick Google search, <clears throat> you can see here's AP News, The Independent, Business Insider, KULR8, Local News, ABC Fox Montana, um, Chicago Star Media, Fairfield Sun-Times, The Independent, Fairfield Sun-Times, The Independent Record, and so on. Um, some of those places, some of those will be the same interview. It, it's You have to really pick and choose and, and watch them all. But it was enough that I was able to create this Wikipedia article for Dakota Adams. Um, you can see in the lead of this, and you can go and look at this. I'll put a link to this in the description of this article. And you can see that he stands out because not only is he a politician running for office, but he's also notable because he is the oldest son of Stuart Rhodes, a man who's in prison for 18 years for conspiracy. And this and Dakota Adams had a very different, um, let's say the least, upbringing. And he wrote about it and it's documented and um, that stands out from his peers. So for at least two different things, his, his parentage is and that he's running for a as a Democrat in a heavily Republican area. And he has a completely different look than a normal politician. So there's a lot of things he stands out for. But I was able to write, uh, use some of the articles to make this Wikipedia article. And here is the, it's not very long. There's only six citations. I used uh, the CNN article that he had done with a notable person. See, Laura Coates is someone who has a Wikipedia page. So she's notable. And yes, I know I said YouTube can't use it, but we can use it. See, I'm telling you, it's confusing. All right. <laughs> it is. Uh, it is a CNN interview. And then I used uh, KULR interview, which is a TV station, local TV station. And then I used the Washington Post. And I used, um, what's this? Raw Story, where he talks about his, his life as a, uh, being raised the way he was. And then here's Business Insider. And then I use Montana State Legislature to support some other statement that I had made on the article. So this isn't a long article at the moment when I made this screenshot in uh, early April. It has six citations. But on the talk page, which is this button that you click up here, this is talk. I was able to um, explain myself that he's a politician, just started out. There will be a lot more media on this person very soon. And Dakota Adams is standing out from his peers. He's uh, gotten a lot of media coverage and the media coverage is independent of him. In other words, he didn't hire it or pay for it or anything like that. So he is an example of just over the, the fence to being able to have a Wikipedia article, not way out there, but just over the fence. And that's what most people are going to find people who are just, um, just, just making it because a lot of people have that, because if you, if you were so extremely um, obvious to have a Wikipedia article, then you probably already would have an article by now. So this is an example of somebody who is um, standing out from his peers and has um, presence on um, in reliable sources, enough so that I was able to create this Wikipedia article. This is a complicated conversation to have about BLP notability, and perhaps I didn't explain it well. Again, this is just based on my experience. And I should also explain, if you're trying to write a Wikipedia article for someone not in the public eye currently, maybe, you know, decades ago they were famous for something, but they're still a living person, the many of the citations you will need will not be a Google search away. You may need to use old newspapers, books, and print articles to find the reliable sources that you need. And that's a little more time consuming. If they are no longer living, then I believe the standards are not quite as strict. Um, it, it's hard to explain. <laughs> um, 
I hope I've cleared up many of your questions you have. If not, please write to us at gsowteam at gmail.com or leave details in the comments under this video. Please like, please share our content and subscribe and hit the bell in order to be notified when a new video is uploaded. Thank you guys so much.